Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn to wave and say a big hello to our friends on camera? Hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. When you're ready guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next we'll do our stretch sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. And we'll begin by stretching up high to the sky. High as we can. And then let's go down low. Touch our toes. Now, go back up high one more time. And this time, can we go tippy toe high? And while we're there, let's have a wave side to side. Excellent, guys. And then back down to touch our toes one more time. Let's stand up. Have a shake. Arms and legs, shake it out. Shake it out. And then, hands on hips, we'll have a wiggle. Wiggle side to side. Stop. Wiggle side to side. Stop. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards. Forwards, backwards, and stop. And we'll go round and round. Round and round. And stop. And now back the other way. Round and round the other way. And stop. And to finish, guys, we'll do five claps. One, two, three, four, five. Brilliant, guys. Have a seat. So who can tell me, in the previous math lesson, we began learning about how we can put numbers together to calculate the bigger number. Does anybody remember what we call that, guys? Addition. Addition. Excellent. Very well remembered. When we have two numbers and we want to combine them to calculate the bigger number, it's called addition. So let's write that word on the board first. A, D, D, I, T, I, O, N. Addition. Yes. And remember, in the previous lesson, when we were talking about adding together numbers with different amounts of digits, remember what was very important, guys? When we had to think about place value. We have to make sure every number is in its correct place value so that we know we're adding the numbers together. And I'm going to invite a few students to come forward now and demonstrate their understanding by adding some different numbers together. But first of all, guys, let's close our eyes. 
and we need some numbers on the board. So what we've got now is we need the students to come forward and demonstrate their understanding by adding together the numbers on the board. And the pen is now with Prel. So Prel, can you come forward for me, please? And Prel will demonstrate how to add these two numbers together. But well, first of all, guys, let's read the numbers together. We have 52,000... 306 plus 404,908. Now, what do we notice? Do both numbers have the same amount of digits? No. no. We have a five digit number and a six digit number. So, Prow is going to demonstrate how we can write it correctly so we can do the sum. So, Prel, over to you. So, Prel, starting with 52,306. That's our five-digit number. And next, we need to think about our six-digit number. So, that's a good idea to start with the lowest. Excellent. So we can see that we've got one more place value in the six-digit number because Prel started with the ones, then the tens, then the hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, and finally hundred thousands. So now we're ready to do our addition calculation. So where do we start, guys? Do we start at the top? we always start at the lowest place value, which is the ones. So eight plus six, 14. One plus zero plus zero equals one. Drop the two, carry the one. Six plus one, Seven. Five plus zero. And then we have our six digit number, which is we've got nothing to add four with, so we just write four again. Pro, that's excellent. So you can see by using place value in the correct way and adding our two numbers together, we have our total. And our total is four hundred and 57,214. Excellent. Prel, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Prel, please, guys. So let's do one more to show that our students understand completely. And this time we'll use two six-digit numbers. Okay. So first of all, I need to clean the board. Okay, so we have our numbers on the board. Now we need our students. Who will it be going to? Let's see. Okay, it's now Pak Boon's turn to come forward and show us how we can add together two large digit numbers. So first of all, guys, let's read the numbers together. We 123,574 plus 47,602. Okay, now the first thing to notice here, how many digits in each number? Six digits. Six digits plus six digits. So place value isn't a big problem. 
Pak Bung will demonstrate how to do the sum. So Pak Bung, can you write the two numbers together for me? Four, 23, 574. 574, excellent. 447,602. Okay, excellent. So now we're ready to begin our addition calculation. And as always, start with the lowest value, the ones. So four plus two equals six. Equals six. Seven plus zero equals seven. Five plus six equals eleven. So we drop the one, carry the one. Ten plus 1, 11. So same again, the 1 and carry the 10. 4 plus 2. Perfect, Pak Boon, well done. And then our final column equals 8. Excellent. So by adding our two six-digit numbers together, we now have our final total. And the total is... 871,176. And that's how we add two large digit numbers together. Pak Boon, that was excellent. High five and a big round of applause for Pak Boon, guys. And what we're going to do in today's lesson is we're going to stay with addition, but we're going to learn how Instead of just adding two large digit numbers together, what happens when we have three numbers to add together? We have to add three large digit numbers together. Now there are two different ways that we can do that addition calculation. It's adding together, but there's two separate methods. So what we're going to do now is we're going to look at a PowerPoint presentation for our students to learn the two separate methods of adding together three large digit numbers. So let's turn to look at the TV screen, guys. So let's take a look at our PowerPoint presentation, guys. Addition, Addition. lesson two. So here we can see three large digit numbers. First of all, we have 202,000 254 plus 355,313 plus 841,411. Okay, so now we're going to learn how we can add these numbers together. The first way adding separately method so we've got our three large digit numbers that we need to add together so first of all we'll add them together separately step one is to take the first two numbers so 202,000 254 plus 355,313. Okay, any ideas, guys? I'll give you a few seconds, see if you can work out. 557,567. So what we're doing is we're adding the first two numbers together. You see, the first number added to the second number gives us this total. But we're not finished yet. That's only step one. What we need to do now is we need to involve the third number. And this is step two. 
So what we do next is we take our total from the first two numbers, 557,000, 567, and we need to add, we need to add the third number, 841,000, 411. Yes. So you see, step two is to take the amount from the first two numbers and then add it with our third number. And then when we add the two numbers together, we will get our final total. 1,300,000. Seventy-eight. So that's what we call adding separately. Add the first number to the second number. That will give you your first total. Then add the total from the first calculation to the third number. And then after the second step, you have your final calculation. And the second method adding all together. Now this is the usual way of doing it. This is the way we practice adding two numbers together. All we do is that we place all three numbers in an addition table. And you can add them all together the same way that you add two numbers. And of course, you will always get the same calculation you will always get the same answer. Understand, guys? Okay, so let's do one more together. Here we have three large six-digit numbers. We have 657,046 plus 100 95,742. Now, the third number, 285,354. Okay, so first of all, let's do the first method again, adding separately. So what we'll do is we'll take the first two numbers and we'll add them together. So I'll give you a few seconds, see if anybody can give me an answer. Again, sorry? Okay. Are you sure? Perfect, Pakung. That's excellent. Very well done. You can see, by adding the first two numbers together, we now have our first total. The calculation of the first two numbers, 852,788. But we're not finished yet. When we add separately, we need step two. What we do now is we take the total of the first two numbers and add that to our third number. So our next calculation, 852,788 plus our third number, 285,354. Now I'll give you a few moments again. Okay, shall we see? Everybody agree? Are you sure? Can you say one more time? Perfect. That's excellent, guys. So you see, by following the two steps, step one, add the first and second numbers together, then the total we get from that 
add to our third number gives us our final total. One million one hundred thirty-eight thousand one hundred forty-two. That's brilliant. Very well done. And of course, the traditional second method, adding all together. All we do is we put our three numbers in a table. And like we do with two numbers, add them together. But obviously, with three numbers, there'll be three. And of course, at the end, we should get the same answer. One million... 138,142. 138, Any questions, guys? No. That was brilliant. Well done. <laughs> Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the PowerPoint presentation of how we can add three different numbers together using two separate methods. We had the add separately method, which involves two steps, and then the traditional add together. So it's up to our students really what they prefer, because if they do it correctly, both answers will always be the same. And now it's time for our stretch sequence. So let's stand up guys and push in our chairs. And for this stretch sequence, we'll begin with some rotations, left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Excellent, guys. And then we'll do five stretches to our right. One, two, three, four, five. Next, we'll do five stretches to our left. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. And now, let's have a shake. Arms and legs, shake it out. Shake it out. Shake it out. And to finish, we'll do five star jumps. One, two, three, four, five. Excellent, guys. Have a seat. So now it's time for our flash activity part of the lesson. So teachers, what you'll need to do is print off the flash sheets and cut each of the calculations into different strips of paper. And what we're going to do is have our students come forward and demonstrate how to add three different large numbers correctly. And they can use both methods. They can use the adding separately method or the adding together. So we'll see what ones they prefer. So first of all, we need to have our bowl with our flash numbers. And then I will invite my first student to come forward. So I would like to invite Lakdao. Nakao, can you come and join me at the front, please? And we will ask Lakao to pick a number and show it to our friends. So, what can we see, guys? 234 plus... 364,574 plus... Excellent. Equals, yes, we need equals at the end. So now I would like Lakdao to demonstrate, first of all, how to write this sum on the board. And I wonder what methods Lakdao will use. 4,234 plus. Excellent. Okay, so we've got our first two numbers on the board. 
What Lackau is going to do is demonstrate the adding separately method. So first of all, guys, we need to add these two numbers together. So do we start here? No, always start with the ones. So four plus four equals eight. Equals eight. Three plus seven equals ten. Equals ten. Equals ten. Zero. Zero. Yes. And then five plus two equals seven. Seven plus four one equals eight. Perfect. Comma. Comma. Five plus four equals nine. Zero plus six nine plus three wow. equals twelve so we now have the answer of step one don't forget this isn't our final answer this is step one we have one million one million two hundred sixty nine thousand two hundred sixty nine thousand eight hundred and eight so now we're ready for step two. So Lakau, can you write this number here? Because that's how we start with step two. 269,808. Now we need our third number. Plus three plus 200,000. 174. Okay, so now we're ready for step two. Eight plus four. Twelve. So drop the two, carry the one. One plus seven. Eight. Eight plus one. Equals nine. Comma. Nine plus zero. 6 plus 0, 2 plus 2, comma, and then how many millions do we have? We only have 1 million. So now we've added 1, 2, 3 numbers together using the two-step method, adding separately. And our final answer, 1 million, 400, 69,982. 69, Lakau, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Lakau, please, guys. <laughs> so now it's time for our next student to demonstrate another method of adding three digits together or three large numbers. So first of all, I need to clean the board. And now, I would like to invite my next student to come forward. Bang Pon, come and join me at the front of class, please. Okay, and this time, choose your flash and show it to your friends. So here we have 167,635 plus 401. 1,635 plus 22,675. Okay, now Pangpon is going to demonstrate this time how to add all the numbers together so we'll have three rows of numbers. So Pangpon, over to you. So the first number, 167. 1,635, brilliant. Then the second number, 400 and 1,635. And then our third number, 222,675, perfect. So this time we're adding all together. We've got our three numbers in the same calculation. And it's the same as two numbers, guys. We just need to add a third. So, five plus five plus five equals 15. 
5 plus 5 plus 5, 15. So 5, carry the 1. 7 plus 3, plus another 3, plus 1. Excellent bang pon. Then 6, plus 6, plus 6, 18, plus 1. 19. So 9, carry the 1 again. With, with three numbers, there'll be lots of regrouping. So 2 plus 1 plus 7 plus 1, 11. So 1, carry the 1. That's it. We can put 1 in there. Bang, bang, well done. Then 2 plus 6, 8 plus 1 equals 9. This one's nine. Nine, because we carried one over. Two plus six, eight plus one, nine. And then two plus four, two plus four equals, equals six, equals seven. equals seven. So you can see, guys, by adding our three numbers together in the same calculation, we can reach our answer. And our answer is... 791,945. Pang Pong, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Pang Pong, guys. So teachers, you can see the activity that we're doing in our classroom now. You can pause the video and play on in your own classroom with your own students. And let students decide which method they prefer. As long as they get the answer right, it doesn't matter if they add separately or add together. It's up to our students to decide. And we'll carry on playing here. So first of all, I need to clean the board. And now, I would like to invite Dan. Would you like to come forward, please? And will you choose a number and show it to your friends? Excellent. So let's have a look at the numbers, guys. What do we have this time? 234,375 plus 154,909 plus 500 and 5,404. Okay, so now, Dan, can you show us how to add these numbers together? And you can use whatever method you prefer. You can add separately, or you can add together. It's up to you. So first of all, we need two numbers at least. 234,000. 375 plus 154,909. Now we don't know yet what will Down do. Will you add separately or together? Down is going to add separately. Okay, so the step one, nine plus five equals 14. So 4, carry the 1. 7 plus 1 equals 8. 9 plus 3 equals 12. So 2, carry the 1. And our comma. Perfect. Excellent. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Okay, so now we're at the end of step 1. But we're not finished because we're adding separately. What we need down to do now is write our total here. 389,284. Can you write it again here for me? 8, 9... Two, eight, four. 
And what we do now is we add this number to our third number. 404. Perfect. So, again, we always start at the ones. Perfect. So, four, carry the one. Perfect, guys. Now, at the end of step two, we have our total. Dan, that was excellent. So now we've arrived at our answer. Let's speak it all together. 894,688. Dan, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Dan, guys. So now, time for our next student. I would like to invite Pat to come forward and join me at the front of class. Okay, so now Pat is going to choose a number and show it to our friends. Excellent, Pat. And can you show it to our friends? We have 102,646 plus... 434,783 plus 222,457. Okay, Pat, now it's over to you. Can you demonstrate how we can write this number together? There you go, you have a blue pen. Zero, two, six, four, six, plus four, four, three, four, comma, seven, seven, eight, three. Excellent. So, Pat, will you add these two numbers together or will you do all three? Plus two hundred. 22,457. Excellent. Okay, so Pat is going to do the all together method. So let's work it out together, guys. 7 plus 3 equals 10. Plus 6, 16. So 6, carry 1. 5 plus 8, 13, plus 4, 17, plus 1, so 8, carry 1, 4 plus 7, equals 11, plus 6, plus 1, 18, so 8, 8 carry over 1, and we'll add our comma, then 2, plus 4, plus 2, plus 1, equals 9, then 2 plus 3, equals 5, plus 0, equals 5, 2 plus 4, Plus one equals seven. So you can see how it's important about place value. And when we add three numbers together, there will be lots of regrouping. But now we have our answer. So let's speak it together, guys. 759,886. Pat, that was brilliant. High five and a big round of applause for Pat, guys. And a big round of applause for everybody. Everybody did a great job. And now it's time for our worksheet part of the lesson. 
So teachers, what you need to do is hand out a worksheet to all of our students in the class. And what our students have to do is they have a series of addition problems all involving three numbers. Now our students can decide what method do they want to use, the two-step method or the all-together method. It's totally up to our students to decide, as long if at the end their answers are correct. But what's the first thing to do, guys? Yes. And we'll give our students around 12 minutes for this activity and just monitor the class and help them with anything they need. So, Chu, this one's for you. You're welcome. Pat, for you. You're welcome. Nadia, here's yours. You're welcome. Ned, for you. You're welcome. Down, you're welcome. Pak Bung, you're welcome. Bang Fon, you're welcome. And Lakav. Okay, guys, so remember three digits, or sorry, three numbers we have to add together. You've learned two different methods in today's lesson. It's up to you to decide what one you prefer. But well, please show your working out. So to the right in the spaces provided, do our tables. And if you need any help, let me know. I think if I had to do them, I prefer the adding separately method. I like the two steps. Add two numbers together, get the total, then use that total to combine with the third number for the final total. But some people might prefer adding together. Excellent, like that, well done. It's always good to see our workings out. So, Chu, which method do you prefer? Would you like to add the first two numbers together and then the third, or will you do them all together in one calculation? If we do the all-together method, there'll be lots of regrouping because three digits will come over ten lots of times. But I think all-together is the quickest method. And Prel is going for the all-together method. Excellent, Nadia. That's very good to see your workings out. Pat, very good. And if you need any help, guys, let me know. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet exercise where they had to look at the large numbers and add them together using one of the methods that they prefer. Some students use the adding together method and some students use the adding separately. It's fine to choose whichever method they want as long as the answers are correct in the end. And my students here all did a great job, so well done guys. <laughs> and that's all we've got time for today. So we hope you've enjoyed the lesson and learnt a little bit more about how to add three large digit numbers together. And we'll see you again soon for the next lesson. So can we turn to wave goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye. See you again soon. <laughs>